All right. Well, I'm, I don't really have a format for this tonight. I was actually thinking there's 20 images. And if we just, if I turn on a timer for like four minutes, how does that sound? And then people can just give their opinions on it, like what they think would make it a better image. What do you think? Just like kind of free for all it? Sounds good. There's not too many of us. That works. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, and also, um, if the artist is obviously here, if you put in, like, let's say three images, um, actually, let me see if I can get the sidebar to come up, because I'd like to see who's who, like, who put them in. Because then it, if we skip around, like I could do one of each person and then go back and do another one of each person. So everybody gets a. <clears throat> first two are mine, so. Okay. Easy for you. All right, cool. Let's just do the first one and then we'll skip to the third one. Can everybody see it? Yep. Okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I love it. Is it as large as it goes, right? What? Is that as large as you can make it? Um, probably, because okay. I'm using I'm using Google. Let me see. Oh, here. But then you're gonna lose like the edges. You know what I mean? So just. Oh yeah. Because oh. like. Oh yeah, there's Dan's name right there. <laughs> Jeez. You might be able to make it a little bit bigger on your own screen. You can shrink down the, the people's faces if you want to see it better. All right, I'm starting the timer. How, what are we going to do? Uh, so I was thinking, let's just talk down. about um, composition, like what you think could make it better to make it stand out more. It's a little hard to see because it's all digital. So like printed, this may be a little bit different. It's, it's really great of the main flower. Mm -hmm. um, I almost wish the back flower focus had been kind of the front flower focus because of the blur takes up more of the picture. I, I don't know how you would change that, but uh, it's, it's really great of the main flower. Mm -hmm. I do like the two flowers though being out of focus. Like yes, your eye bounces around, which is nice. It travels the whole way through, but it always come right back to the center with the those are really in focus. So it looks yeah. nice. It's a nice line. Yep. This was uh one of my choices that I was gonna put in for our macro competition. Oh. But one of the things that I did not like about this is how the front <laughs> flower down here in the bottom right hand corner mm -hmm. is blocking a little bit of the right flower right. down. Exactly. That part is blocking the yeah. flower behind it. So I <clears throat> did not enter just for that particular reason, because I'm sure he would have said something. Well, you know, you're, you're blocking a portion of what's in focus. So mm. I did try tilting the camera down a little bit more and I just didn't, didn't get the back flower separated from the middle. So this is what I went with. Was this a, an arrangement or a natural on the bush type thing? Natural on the bush in my backyard. <laughs> did, did, have you ever tried using like a, a plant which might have weighted down that front flower? No, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I was going to say that's a, that Wolfersberger guy. He's been a judge for us. He always yeah. does bring clips and string. And you can always manipulate nature but don't hurt it, you know, by... Yeah. So I, I guess I could have reached out in front of the camera and kind of bent the, the stem down a little bit for that first flower so it wasn't, wasn't blocking so much. But, hey, that's why it didn't get submitted, and that's why we're looking at it now. Yeah. <laughs> well, we agree. Yeah. I kind of like, kinda no, like the out-of-focus area in the front of the image. I, I, yeah. think there's, I think there might be a little too much of it. I would maybe crop from the bottom right up into the photo a little bit. And just have a little bit of out of focus flower That's in front of the two. Like yeah. if it were going a diagonal to the middle right. of the bottom up. Like like how, how it's been enlarged here. I think that yeah. looks a lot better than than having all of that 
out of focus space in the bottom right hand portion of the photo. Okay. But it's a it's a strong photo. I, I like the I like the flower and the way it's. As focused. you guys are aware, you know, when you're trying to take a picture with a macro, you have you know limited depth of field. Yeah. So. Very yeah. narrow. Well, and I think that the I think the out of focus area in the front kind of brings you into the photo. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. How, how did you know? Another thing I was doing for is, you know, they always say try to take pictures of flowers in groups of three, five, seven. So this this was my yeah. three front, middle, and back. Yeah. How did you? I might have flowers? moved the the camera just slightly to the to the left. I think because the, right below, and it's so minor. I mean, it's a beautiful image, but this is just so minor. But underneath the main flower, there's like another flower that's just barely getting cut off at the tip right here right yeah go down a little bit sam and right there see right how it's here. just a little bit cut off so maybe i would kind of get that flower a little bit more centered because it's not quite off center but it's not so i would get the main flower a little bit more centered let me see i'm trying to think this through if i if you move the camera yeah so I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but the flower underneath maybe is just a little, yeah, makes sense this little it, leaf off. What I was thinking, if I'd done that, Marion, then I would, yeah. have, I would not have gotten the stack of having the, the diagonal of the flower like that, mm -hmm. then it would be straight off into the, to the one in the back. But I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. That's what the if thing. you moved it over like she said, but you tilted the camera? Yeah, that could have been an option. Yeah. And okay. maybe, yeah, like everybody else said, maybe just a little bit less of the blur, but I love the blur, but maybe just a little bit less of it. So the, the main flower is more of the dominant subject in that picture. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. I love it. My other option I was thinking about was trying to rebuild the, the middle flower that's being blocked by the, uh, the blurriness, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I'm not Photoshop savvy enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just practice. <laughs> All right, that was about four minutes. So we're going to go to the next one. This one is Christina, as I can tell from the name <laughs> and the topic. <laughs> <laughs> is she on? Yeah, she's on. Hello. I'm here. Oh, I look like an invisible woman, but yeah, I'm here. Yeah. So actually, I liked what Dan did. He kind of talked about what he what he was doing with it and then we can do a little critique so you want to tell us what you would do i liked your comment today or yesterday oh yeah i don't yeah. My, my deep thought for the day yeah um, i was at meadow like for lotus is like probably half the population was in the last couple of weekends and everybody was shooting all the big full blooms and i kind of shot around all the pretty full blooms and um i just kind of like how they defy gravity with that bottom petal i'm overly fascinated by that it wasn't much of a deep thought, and I just thought black and white helped you focus. Yeah. And I think it's beautiful. It's lovely. I mean, yeah, it's, it's on, the, on the end, but you got the straight lines, and then there's two petals with the curves. I like yeah. the curves of those. Of those. What, what are the thin white lines? Are those like tendrils, or what are those? It's... Like the, the, the yellow like fiber parts of the lotus, they're kind of hanging on to each other. So these are all individual strands that are just kind of connected. The, the stamen? Yeah, the stamen. Yeah, that thing, that would work. <laughs> <laughs> That's you cool know, looking. I'd like it if it were just more white, uh, if the white were brought up more. Mm. Brighter. Uh, I don't mind the, con I, the contrast would be fine, but as long as you got you got a whole range in the range of white, so you could afford some more white. Okay. Yeah, I but like the it. The shape is fascinating and wonderful. I like that Thank the background you. isn't totally black; that there is like a maybe another a lotus flower behind it that's giving a little bit of definition to the black. It kind of makes the photo stick out off of the off of the frame a little bit. I think it's Over really- Over on the right? It kind of, kind of behind it and to the right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that really pulls it off the, off the background quite a bit. It makes it really, kind of gives it some depth. Looks great. It's a great image. Nice texture there, Christina. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, I can only see like six faces, so it feels like there's like these odd disembodied voices coming in. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I would say is if you could get it sharper but it might be just because it's digital on here 
it doesn't look that bad on my monitor. And um, this is also, you... Go ahead. I did the um, export to Facebook in Lightroom, which of course is less pixels and a smaller <laughs> image for the JPEG. Like, yeah. so hopefully if I were to print it, I think it would hopefully look a little different. Yeah, that's something I think we need to learn, like learn is because if Nature Visions is digital, we need to make sure our digitals look amazing. You know what I mean? That, this is what I'm thinking about for Nature Visions personally, uh -huh. and I'm really trying to figure out how to get it best digitally because I'm used to going, it will look different, possibly better on paper. On paper, yeah. And how to get the best digital quality to them. Because this, I think, is the, well, this is my opinion. This is the most important part for sharpness, but then these little dudes too, so. No. Yeah, because I know Nature Vision. Yeah, that was three minutes. Next month. I'm going to do one more minute. Oh. <laughs> Unless we have to happen. leave those other thin pieces. Is it, I mean, it, it is obviously part of the flower, but is it to the, can, what would happen if you pulled those off? It kind of cleaned it up. So all you had are the, the lines, you know, kind of the more prominent, beautiful curves and all that rather than your eye being kind of looking at all the different thinner lines because for me it just distracts me a little bit the thinner lines but i love 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 the curves and the the more prominent part of the flower more so than the the thinner lines if that i makes definitely sense. try to edit it differently absolutely i've got a couple versions in lightroom where i've kind of done it differently because hmm. i, I think i like it to pop that way but i mean everybody go ahead um yeah, and I was thinking the thinner lines kind of help balance it a little bit. Um, really? It create, looks like like it, otherwise it might be really heavy on the one side and it'll be like nothing over on the other side. I don't know. But maybe like dodge them or bring the whites down a little bit on that side and the whites up a little bit on the other side. Yeah. I could do that too. To brighten it. Yeah. I like the story it tells the way it is. Yeah. Messy nature. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay cool that was four minutes all right bob hayward is he online i'm going to just do people who are online first if that makes sense you might not be on yet yeah all right let me see what's next um dan are you online dan um huddleston no no. Yeah. Um, Charles, is this yours? Charles Walker? Yeah, that's mine. Yeah, that's yours. All right. It's perfect. Next. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look that at that fish is the fish. best. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's like screaming, help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was my first thought, too, is I couldn't find yeah, anything. Let me, let me comment on that a little bit. Okay. Sure. This one goes in concert with the next photo, okay? Mm -hmm. and, um, and there's another Osprey, if you could bring it up now. Sure. Okay. Um, and there's, there's two reasons why I printed these, okay? If you look at this image, it technically is fine, okay? Um, you have a little detail in the white, okay? Uh, it's sharp. Uh, you know, the Osprey's looking right at you. But... It's not a good shot. The reason why is the first things that you want to look for is originality and impact, okay? And what this turns out to be is a perfect bird portrait. Yeah. Okay? And that's not really what you're looking for, okay? Particularly if you're going to submit it for nature visions or something like that. Yeah. What you want is, first of all, you want to show interest, okay? Then you want to show impact. And if you can show originality, then the technical stuff comes after that. If you could go back to the other bird, okay. Okay, here's a practical example. In this one, you do have interest, okay. He's doing something that, you know, is kind of rare for a bird. You've got the mouth of the fish looking right at you. You can see the eyes of the fish. So, if you submitted this, or if I submitted this to Nature Visions or something like that, I would expect it to possibly get accepted, okay? But not the bird portrait, because there's two million other ones. Yeah, good and, point. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, open to 
other criticism as to what everybody else thinks. Charles, I have a question, not a criticism. It's a great photo. Um, did you have to adjust it to get those wings pointing perfectly at the corners, the upper or lower left and upper right? Did you have to shift it a little bit or did it just turned out that way? Well, Tom, that's a pretty good question because I did have to rotate it a couple of degrees, you know, to get his eyes almost perfectly straight like that mm -hmm. and get the wings pointed in a good diagonal down here. So, yeah, you're right. I did rotate it a bit. And if you want to know more about it, it was a cloudless sky. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering. That that <laughs> that <right. Yeah. laughs> well, so you pulled it loose from the sky and give it a good one. I was wondering how you could tilt it and have the clouds still be horizontal. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that, that'd give you an example. But hey, manipulation now, is okay. For yeah. nature visions, can we add clouds in such? Yes, yeah. you can. You, you can do, you can do a lot of stuff. I think it gives you a little explanation. Of as long as the clouds are your own? I'm not going to say yes or no on that, but uh, <laughs> uh, it, 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 you know, it seems to me that you could do some manipulation. You could do a little, uh, you can't do cloning. So whether you're doing a sky replacement or not, that might be considered cloning. So I don't, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say yeah or nay on Well, that. you can clone like minor objects, right? You can, clone, you can remove minor objects. You, you can clone stuff out. Like if there was a fish hook in his mouth, you would be able to clone that yeah, out, you, right? You, yeah, you can clone that out. Because <laughs> otherwise it gets kicked out for hand to man. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's less than that 2% right. or whatever their rule is, right? I don't know. Oh, Nikki yeah. had that one with the tire tracks that one day. That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tire tracks, not an actual tire. So, <laughs> Charles, you said something about cloning. So, like, let's say somebody takes a picked five pictures of a bird in flight and then makes it, you know, five picked yeah. five birds, they wouldn't and accept them that. And blends all five images? Yeah. I'm not sure. You're going to have to uh, ask. I feel uh, like they've had uh, that before. You're going to have to ask Swagger about that. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, that's not real when you, when it's so perfect in an arch or something. But. So. Oh, you got photo art. Oh, I think this is beautiful. Goes there. <laughs> Thank I love you. the fish's mouth. Yeah. I saw that the incident came on. Yep. Mm -hmm. And thank you for putting both those pictures in there because that's a great example. And this is a beautiful picture too, but I, I know what you mean. I, mean. I love the stare down. It's great. Yeah, I totally know what you mean though. See, I'd rather have this on my wall than enter it. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you back to the other picture? What was that? You back to the Osprey in flight? Mm hmm. The only thing I would suggest, Charles, is maybe lightening a little bit of his left eye because he kind of gets lost in the shadow. You're exactly right. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was all the way in the shadow. Uh, I brought it up as far as I could. Yeah, I'm, I'm agree with everybody else said that's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. Yep. That expression on the face is incredible. Yeah. Both their faces. You can save it and re enter it into the program as a new image and uh, jack it up some more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You save the result, bring it in as a new image. Yep. I just have to ask Charles, how long did you sit and wait to get that picture? Actually, that was taken down in Blue Cypress, Florida, uh, and the Osprey were flying like I don't know what. So uh, wow. I don't know whether you know a Jim Norman or not, but he and I went oh, yeah. to Blue Cypress went out on a boat that you can rent these boats they take you out and osprey are flying around and that's how i caught this one uh, as soon as wow. you get out to this location there they're out there so you can start clicking away cool. uh, pray and spray beautiful. spray and pray <laughs> yeah seriously <laughs> florida wetlands are really a great place apparently <laughs> well, well i am from florida so yeah all right, this is Fred's. You want to tell us a little bit about it and then we can... That is from Florida. Um, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> so I was more interested in... Uh, no, I, I've entered this before I had it. In the, but I mean, if you were to do something or say something that should change, that's what I'm really looking for. What should be different? Well, the uh, horizon should be level, for one yeah, thing. Yeah, that's what, what I was going to say, too. The horizon, the horizon should be level. 
Oh my God, the world's falling off. You're right. <laughs> right, it's a little bit <laughs> tilted, just a little. But then now uh, that was a really a super wide angle, so there's some arc there. Yeah. But uh, you're right, it's not leveled. So maybe I should even work on the uh, undoing the arc with correction. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. if you like just move it, then that uh, X thingy, the totem, whatever things those are, that yeah, and her crooked. Seat, and her chair might yeah. be a little off. But yeah, you could just kind of warp it up a little bit and make an illusion of it being straight. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's an idea. Yeah. A couple things I see, Fred. Yeah. Uh, the Thank chair you. on the left hand side next to the lovely lady. Um, chair, the table. Yeah, the, no, the chair next to her. Chair, yeah. I'm kind of going out of the picture. If you have more, I would either either add more to the, to the left side of the picture, or I would try and crop more of the tree and the chair out and make just a focus on her being on the left hand side. Yeah, I got you. And then my there's, other, no, there's no more left on it, so I would have to. I yeah. can see where you're saying that. Yeah. My other well, actually, that's going to be done automatically if when you level the horizon, that that's part true. is going to suck in. You're right. The other thing is the uh, palm tree in the middle. Uh, I would just clone out the stuff on the side so that you just you don't have those little twigs and branches off from on the left and right of it. So it's just like on the other ones, it's just a straight trunk. Oh, you mean those little, the, the coconuts? Yeah, because they're a little distracting for me. Uh, this stuff? I gotcha. Up yeah. at the top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually, at first I thought it was a speaker. Out a little bit. I know, <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. I like that. Okay. Yeah, it is a nice scenery being there at the beach and seeing the palm trees, which is always lovely. Did you add, um, did you bump up the clarity, clarity. on this. That's what I was going to ask. So the lady seems a bit gritty on her arms and her legs. Did you bump up the, the clarity maybe for the sand and texture? No, that's my wife and she has gritty arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're right. And you know, I have to, I'd have to look at that. Thank you for bringing that up. I think what I like the most about it is the kind of the postcard look, kind of the postcard filter it's got to it. It's very. I was uh, doing that, but let's get back to the gritty. I she has freckles. <laughs> Don't tell her I said. Yeah, that. but the clarity <laughs> can bring up bring out freckles. Yeah, I know. No, she does have freckles. So at that time, so yeah, I'll have to look. Is something right, so on her down. lap? It looks like it's her purse because she has her purse strap on her arm. Oh, on her okay. Yeah, I was trying to yeah, see yeah that's that. what that is. Yeah. Vacation pick. Okay. <laughs> and it overlaps. See, I didn't I didn't do a studio thing. I didn't ask her to do anything. It was yeah. candid. Yeah. So I see that it cuts the table wrong in a way. Yeah, you could get rid of the and table. I, I can see it now that you're telling me how to look at it. Yeah. Okay. Well thank you. Yeah. If you get if you get rid of the table, you have to get rid of that hue that the sun is casting all that green on the sand. It's going to be a lot more work than just cloning out the table. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. I'm not sure about the hue. I printed, I, I printed with my, now that's the way that came. I printed with my printer once and I think it came out red. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the table has a green hue to it. So It does. Yeah. Well, very nice. I like that. Okay, no, so I'm going to go look at you again, and, and I'll go back and look at it and study that. Thank you. Cool. All right. I'm going to move on to the next one. Oh, is, is Audrey online? I think this is Audrey's. Yeah. I don't see her. It's. I'm sorry, I have to scroll through all the names. <laughs> All right, um, GR. That's Gretchen. That's Gretchen. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Look at oh, that guy. Scott. A bee. Wow. <laughs> In the yard. You have some patience. She took that handheld, y'all. She's got <laughs> hands of a surgeon. They're yeah, to say. <laughs> I love his, like his, um, well, it's probably a girl, right? <laughs> but the um fur you know their fur 
around. Looks like hairdo. She's a yeah. hairdo. <laughs> Very fluffy one. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like it vertical. How close were you to the uh, bee? That's one to one. So I was pretty close with a macro lens, as wow. close as I could get. Now, what would that look like vertically? Um, I don't know if I could put it. Well, yeah, you could. I could flip it. Uh, yeah, vertical. Yeah. My suggestions, Gretchen, would be: I think your white flowers are a little blown out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Round towards their feet. Where's the little bee's feet? The back feet. Down the, the section. The, the front feet, right in front of where his, his tongue's at and all that stuff. All oh, that stuff okay. falls out. So that would be one suggestion. And the first thing I noticed Jonathan. in the top right-hand corner, you've got that little dark green spot over there, which keeps drawing my eye up into that right-hand corner. Blowing it, make it green. <laughs> well, you, you can't really see it now, I think, because you blew it up, Sam, but it's oh. in the right -hand corner. Right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably a flower. Black spot. Black spot. You could easily clone that out, no problem. Right. But, yeah, I, you got a lot more guts than I do because I won't get anywhere near be that close. <laughs> as long as you're not a flower, bees, you're good. Uh, those bees, those bee. bees just bite. They don't sting. <laughs> right. Yes. They're busy. They're too busy. They don't have time for you. Yes. <laughs> how, do you get the focus? how do you get the focus on that bee? I mean, that bee must not have been still for very long. And how was your camera just in the right spot? Did you like move back and forth? To, to right, I did. Um, so I kind of watched a couple of the bees in the yard and I picked a flower and kind of focused on the flower a little bit and waited for a bee to come. Luckily uh -huh. one did. <laughs> okay. Nice. That's good. Yeah, you did really good on your yeah. focus and mm -hmm. before you go. Yeah, there, that, cause that's tough. Uh, yeah, yeah, I tried me, the bees and I didn't get anything. Let me say that uh, I think that's a wonderful shot. I love the detail in it, but you know, I concur with uh, maybe making it vertical. Okay. All right. I will try that. <laughs> I may have, uh, I may have tried it maybe one stop. Uh, higher than that to try to get more of the bee in focus. I was thinking the head looks great and I like the bokeh behind it. Yeah. Um, but maybe a little bit more of the bee like back towards his back legs and focus mm -hmm. would be. Right. Um, but it's a strong, it's a strong image. And so you do my have a lot camera. Of, you, have a lot, <laughs> I, you have a lot of guts getting that close to the bee too. <laughs> yeah. My camera, I max out at 3200 ISO. I can't go any higher. Like, okay. it just won't go any higher. So that's 3200 ISO. Um, and that's as high. Up, well, I probably could have slowed the shutter speed, but you don't want to slow that too much because then. Right. I, well, that's the risk. Yeah. Yeah, I get too much. Yeah. You get the camera shake. Then, well, I mean, I think you I think you have a strong image. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's yeah. definitely it's definitely a powerful image. I like it a lot. Thank you. Very nice. Gretchen, I just noticed your logo right here. Yes, I like Very it. smart. <laughs> Very nice. She See the GR? Smart. See the GR for Gretchen? Oh, oh man. how clever. So smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to skip this one. Yes. This that's is... me. You already did that. Oh, okay. That's Fred. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can go to somebody else. Who's this one? That's I'm, me. I've... Oh, okay, good. I'm trying to move this thing so I can see names. All right. So so I was one of the million people at uh Petal Lark <laughs> the other morning. Uh and I kinda like the I kinda like the uh way this uh framed up to kind of be a little bit abstract. But yeah. uh but be a photo of one of the uh lotuses, one of the dead lotuses. So uh, that's kind of the story behind the story. Cool. This looks like a little, maybe a little bug, but it might be part of the lotus on it. There. I think it's great. I love. I love. Yeah, colors. I love all these folds and stuff. Yeah, yeah. All the lines are really nice. I love the textures and the color shifts between the front lotus and the, the petal or the leaf behind it, and then the bigger leaf behind it. So it kind of gives you some contrast throughout the whole picture. Yeah. Probably be a great black and white with all those yeah. I was wondering patterns. 
Well, I did try it in black and white, and kind of I I personally like the the, oh, the color more, but uh, uh, I will uh, I'll definitely try a print of, of it in black and white. The only thing I can't tell is where you focused on this because it all looks a little soft throughout the whole picture. And I, don't know I go right really to the base of the flower to the stem right here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it seems like the very Run top the of the flower right too. Down. Yeah, that was the area I was focusing in on. Okay. Was the kind of the, the bottom, the bottom portion of the of the flower. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of a, it was kind of some strange light there that morning. Um, <clears throat> it was like maybe two or three weeks ago. It was a million degrees and and kind of cloudy and very very hot. So, did you call? You've got the flower loaded up with, uh, I guess that's the the stamen or whatever they are. You've got just enough in there to add a little bit of color and, and interest. Thank you. I really like it. Thank it's you. A nice image. <laughs> Did you crop this at all? Uh, it's cropped a little bit, but okay. not, not a whole lot. Another suggestion I would say is um, okay. probably mm -hmm. run some denoise on it. I'm noticing a lot of grain in it. And then the Sam, if you look right underneath the the yeah, yeah that little yeah. line right there. I would clean Spider that up. Web. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know I just noticed. I, I just noticed that now. covering the left side of it to make it a uh, vertical, and I like that. Mm -hmm. I do love the colors on it. It's really nice. Yeah. Well, thank you. Nice. Thanks. Okay. And then. That one's mine. Oh, Jay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jay. Wow. Jay's just my online persona. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Yeah, so this, uh, th this shot was taken on top of Mount Diablo in Northern California. And um, it's it's kind of rare because that airplane you see a lot of them are even lower than that. So you're actually above the airplanes flying around there. Um, but I was up there one evening, and um, the reason I never submitted this is because people are going to say, "Well, it's oversaturated." But I tell you, that's it doesn't even do it justice. What it really looked like up there that night, it was just spectacular. So uh, I tried to capture it as best I could. Yeah. Oh, are you saying you did not add any saturation? No, in fact, in fact, I kind of toned it down a little bit. Wow. wow. <laughs> really? Because, yeah, that's my first thought, too. It was oversaturated. Um, yeah. That's, that's I, I love it. I think, I think it's a great picture. Um, uh, the first thing that drew my eye was just the, the reds and the, the oranges on, on the um The middle, line. yeah. Um, the antenna is perfectly in sharp. I mean, it, that's perfect. Um, I would, personally, for me, I would go back in and I would just kind of like reduce your blue hues a little bit just to get rid of that that really, really dark blue sky. Uh, the little things that I noticed that I would clean up is simple things. The antennas in the background, the little dots, you can clone those out real quick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about, Sam, on the right-hand side? Yeah, right here, middle. this guy yeah. and this guy. You don't really need those in there. You could clone those out real quick. And and the building in front is blue. Thing. I would clone that out too. Yeah. But the blue, the blue. Get rid of the blue. There's a yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah, the blue, it looks unnatural, but um, you know, I can't really describe how it looked that night. The colors kept changing from pink to orange and blue. Yeah. It was an wow. amazing night. Well, I, th I think if you pull the your slider down on the blue, you would reduce the blue in that building and on the uh, antenna off to the left. Right here. You might not even need to clone it out. So I would try that because other than that, oh my God, I would love to take that picture. It's, well, the foreground is great with yeah, this is all, the, all the horizontal lines that are not sun on them, and yet you've got the sun on these individual leaves. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that was going to be my comment too. And I, I like the um, I like the side light that's hitting those bushes in the front. Yeah. Maybe a, maybe a little bit. Uh, a little bit of work with the shadows there to bring up the shadows a little bit in that area of the photo would uh, mm -hmm. would kind of make that and the antenna kind of uh, the antenna that's you know this one vertical 
it'll kind of make that all kind of one look at the foreground of the photo um i i that's really what does it for me for the image but is the is the foreground and the the side light that's hitting those bushes in the foreground yeah. i love that that's why i really I would... like how oh i'm sorry i really like how the all the antennas and like the main focus is is not completely centered you have it a little bit off to the left and then i also like how i mean you have the bushes and all that it's kind of a little bit higher on the left but then the little hills on the right kind of balance out the whole image so it's not left heavy it's just the other the mountains on the other side just sort of make it perfect i love it and, and i think that the uh, i think that the only reason that we're looking at it and thinking that it's oversaturated is that contrast between the oranges and the yellows and the blue yeah if you if you, right well, yeah. if you got rid of the blue <laughs> i think we'd all be sitting here saying this is a perfect blue? <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like if it was all if it was all red and orange. <laughs> now, you if know, my, the my eye goes not to the blue above. I, I sort of ignore that, but it does go right down to the lower right. Yeah. After, right I, I, yeah, get, after I look at the antenna, yeah. you just yeah. tone that down, tone that down, and I think you could even leave the rest. Yeah, but, gorgeous shot though. Yeah. Really love that. Definitely. And you need you need to change the blue, even though it's real. It. it doesn't send the right message. The, the blue in the sky. Hmm. Maybe get yep. rid of some of the green. Yeah, make that's it lighter. Why I never submitted it for any of the competitions. I mean, it, there's so much there. It's beautiful. But if we have a contrasting color competition, this would be great. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that is a great shot. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, that was Thank about you. four minutes. <laughs> uh, you, Nikki, you want to do Nikki? Another B. Yes, another B. <laughs> when Gretchen put hers in, I was like, oh, man. Hers is oh, they're so different. <laughs> they're no, different. You're, that's good. Thank you. I like how he's, like, shoving his face in the pollen, oh, and he's, he's just, just, like, pollen covered. Pollen. I mean, that's pretty awesome. The keys this past Sunday, and that was a very busy B uh, Sunday morning, and yeah, I just love how he's just all covered with the pollen, and um. I was not shooting macro one to one and a foot away from him. I was shooting with a 100 to 400 and I was zoomed in at 400. So I was several feet back from the bee. And, um, and, and I, you had to hold your breath. And I, could hold my, I didn't have to hold my breath. <laughs> wow. And I was on a tripod. I can't shoot handheld. No. <laughs> That's, that's a great image, Nikki. I think I would probably have just cropped it in tighter and not had all of the yellow on the left. Um, I would probably really just crop it in. Um, and then just so you have the bee and the, the little parts of the flower that's, that he's on, I would, that's what I would probably do, really do a tight crop on it. Okay. Maybe even turn it vertical. That's what I just did. I, I did it with my... Uh, Pad of paper here, made it vertical. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, and and I like it because then you've got the softness of the yellow around it, but not. Yeah, you're right. Much, yeah. But not too much. Yeah, yeah. If you had it, yeah. Cropping, it sounds like I need to crop more. But if you do turn it yeah. vertical, that would be yeah. really cool. It's Everybody's so nice. like this. Everyone's silent. I know. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> But your your sharpness and clarity is perfect. I mean, it looks that's not again. That's not easy. On I try so hard with bees, and I take so many, and it's hard to get any in focus. So that's really well, good. You get it all lined up, you know, like fly to the next flower. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like fly away. Yeah. And where the bee is hanging on, it's nicely in focus. So as it goes out of focus above, that that gives it depth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, who's this one? Gosh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Nels again. Let me see. Is there anybody else? Who's this one? Sweta. I don't know. Let's see. That's me. Oh, hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. I think I'm you. There we go. I think I know that building. Yeah, it's yeah. A, the West End in Savannah. Oh. Oh, no, I don't. 
<laughs> I thought that was St. Petersburg, St. Pete Beach. Ah. Well, go ahead and tell us a little bit about the picture. Like, uh, it, up. it was, uh, I think, November. Uh, one of my friends had a wedding there. And then I had a day for myself. So I just took my camera and then roam around. And then saw this beautiful sunset. I mean, I, I think I overdid with the uh, blue tone, but I'm still in learning phase, so I guess. I oh, mean, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah. The transition the is pretty. Really, really, yeah, really beautiful. Yeah. Photo doesn't do any justice, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you. Yeah. What was the focus? As in, was it you wanted the whole landscape? Was the focus the building? Was it you uh, wanted? I, you I got tried to side? put in at the center of the building, uh, but it was past. Yeah. yeah. What What I'm thinking, I'll, I'll just throw this out there: is there's a lot of sky that you're not necessarily needing. Yeah. I understand the building and the sky is a good contrast, but if that's the focus, then you really don't need all the stuff off to the left and to the right. You could kind of give it a square crop, something okay. like that, where it's a little more focused on the building because the transitions you have there are really, really nice. Yeah, these colors, if you yeah, did crop exactly. it, you could use these colors to balance. Okay. Yeah, I, that was going to be my comment as well. And I, I was also going to say that this – image is in perfect focus from right to left and top to bottom. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. You, can't, you can't get more dead on than that. Yeah. <laughs> might want to, might want to clone those birds out that are flying around. That, that you think, or add more. Add three, two more, so you have three. <laughs> yeah. There, there were so many birds, but by the time I clicked it, everybody, yeah, all, all of them were gone. Just well, one left. It's right away. Yeah. I'm just curious what it looked like. To, oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking. I'm curious what it looks like to the right of the building or to the left to see if you could um, make the building not center heavy, but maybe have put it a little bit, bit more to one side or the other. But I don't know what's on either side. If it's parking lots or something, then you don't want that. Um, yeah, it's just an island. Mm, Better okay. right. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Like uh, that. Yeah. Crop. Oh, no, it's not letting me move it, of course. <laughs> Charles, did you have something to say? Yeah, I was just going to say that it's, you know, it's a very detailed shot. I love the sharpness it's in the way yeah. it is. But uh, it probably could have benefited from uh, clouds in the background. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, learning. Uh, I didn't do in, any uh, additional additions in Photoshop. This was just Lightroom. Okay. But I'll, I'll, I might add some clouds. That's a good point. I like, I like the slow transition of solid colors. Yeah. Just bring it in tighter. Okay. Yeah, I would balance this section of color with a section of blue. Like, make it even. Yeah. That would be pretty okay. cool. All right. It's very sherbet colored. Enough dark <laughs> blue on the top. And just enough to come around. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm going to go back to the top. So, oh, this yeah. Another Dan. Uh, this was when I was playing around with um, just trying to do some macro in the house because I was bored. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of tomatoes sitting around. So, I'm like, why not? <laughs> I broke out the tomatoes and grabbed the squirt bottle and started playing around with some lighting and shading and so on and so forth. But I already know what you guys are going to say because the same thing Nikki already pointed out to But I'll let you guys do it. me. Go ahead. <laughs> What'd you say, Nikki? Hard with the macro, well, but a little more depth of the feel, I think, would have been good. If you rotated them so this one is a little more to the center, but not completely, I would like the angle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this reflection too. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it got yeah and, more and that of the would reflection. make the autofocus one better if you had rotated more uh -huh. uh, from the left to the center. Okay. There's a little purple. Yeah, right here. Yeah. 
Damn you. I know, sorry. I'm Actually, there's a little bit on this other tomato, too. I'm here right here. Yeah. I mean, oh, red, which red is awesome. Yeah. Red is red really is hard to color. photograph. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you would not believe really how hard. I think down the saturation of red on this thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But with the water on it, they just look so fresh and yummy. <laughs> Oh, you guys didn't point out what Nikki and I were talking about, so that's that's a good thing. It's all <laughs> long. <laughs> well, what Nikki pointed out, and I agree with her, is on the the middle tomato. I got that bright white burned out spot in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could have cloned that out. Yeah. Well, you could have, but no. But if you had moved it further back, then it would be a fuzzier spot. You wouldn't mind. Yeah, that's true. And, and if you do it that way, also, then the even number would work better. Yeah. Yep. Because then it would just roll back, yeah. So yeah, this you, have, you have an arc there and something on the other side for balance. And this was another option from a macro competition, but I thought my flower would be a much better entry, so this got pushed to the archives. <laughs> cool. That's a good exercise. Yeah. Yeah, okay. just just a, a little bit of information. These were done with um, just plain old regular. Um, reflectors and LifeX light bulbs. These are not studio lights. Yeah. Job. Nice. Did you do it with a um, macro lens on a tripod or handheld? Tripod. I am not even <laughs> try doing macro <laughs> on a yeah. I'm not crazy like that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Could you like get more of the reflection? I like the reflection. You mean that these reflections? No, the reflection on the bottom part. Oh, this. Oh, like pull it back more. Like if it was down a little bit. I mean, I guess maybe that would have to be reshoot the whole thing, but yeah. I don't know if you have a wider. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay, next is, is Bob online yet? Uh, nope. Dan's not online yet. Let's do this one. Another Christina. Mm -hmm. This one's really pretty. It looks like they, they just were tired. <laughs> yeah, they did a bunch of different petals from different lotuses. Yeah. All natural morning dew. I was probably there the same day. Uh, I don't think that's, think is that morning dew? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Or leftover rain. All I know is that it's not like spray bottle or man manipulation. This is how it was in the flower at the time it was shot. Okay. Nice. I love it. I love that image. Yeah, this is a great uh, image. Thank you. Gorgeous. you know, I think it's the, the droplets and the composition and the tonality. I think it's great. It's a strong image as far as I can yeah, see. Yeah, the sharpness is really nice too. Yep. Really yep. nice. I like nice that. The whole thing. Um, your, none of your whites are blown out. My only couple suggestions is cleanup. So on the right hand side, you got that little streak, I guess, from right here. Yeah, I just saw that as we were talking about it. I didn't see it when I edited it earlier. I don't know if it's my screen or what, but the little white spots all around the top of it, and your black. Okay. So, yeah. A little cleanup, but other than that, wow, that is gorgeous. So when I was playing around with um, doing a black backdrop. I did learn, well, learn. I just made it up as I went along, really. I put a radial um, right in the middle of the, like this big. Mm -hmm. And then I inverted it and then I pulled just the black down. And then I went back and, and um, erased around. But then I learned, you know, from Denise, that there's all these other little sliders uh -huh. you can play with in the Lightroom. But that got rid of all the junk and I didn't have to go yeah. clean it all up. And it's oh, just cool. the black slider. Like you don't even have to use exposure. It doesn't mess up anything else. If there's no black in here, it doesn't even touch it. It's awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, so play right. with that. But you have to invert, yeah. you know. I scribbled notes. You'll probably get a message from me tomorrow when I go, I forgot half of what you said. I got radio <laughs> little something black. Yeah, but I'll definitely <laughs> try that. <laughs> yeah. I love the one little petal that kind of sticks out. But then there's just a little sliver of black, you know, that separates the space. I don't know. I just love that little area right there. Yeah. The curve of that paddle is so pretty. 
I got really lucky on seeing that out of everything. It was just sometimes what Mother Nature creates is sometimes more interesting than what I would come up with if I was merging images. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And where were you? Was this far enough away that people don't wouldn't mess with it? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what I was yeah. wondering. Like, if it's Meadowlark, you know that little lotus thing they have by the bridge. Yeah. And it was not one where even people with average size arms, so not me, could have reached into. Okay. Yeah. From the outside, so it's towards the middle. Yeah. Cool. All right. Probably the same morning I was there. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you posted about the greenhouse that day. Was that you? Um, no. 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 Okay. So Audrey's still not on, and let's just do this one. This is uh, Fred, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. What I'm saying here is. There was ways that either one of them could be improved, but is left versus right better is one thing, and then the other, how what should be really done. Hmm. I like the left one. I do too, but I like yeah. dark and grungy stuff. So it, <laughs> and high clear, you know, contrast, and <laughs> it looks more um, real commercial. It looks more commercial. The other one looks like a like it's a the start of a painting uh, mm, okay I, you know what i mean yeah well were you going after a bokeh look on the right yes yeah for some reason i yeah i yeah i think just the detail all the way back on the left happens to work better for this particular shot okay mm -hmm. is that a drink or a candle to drink. Oh. And a cell phone. And, well, I, I figured that. <laughs> I mean, I'd be drinking it, and the guy has a cell phone down and you drink, and you know, life is like that. You're at a bar, you put the phone down, you drink. And... Yeah. <laughs> I think I like the one on the right more, Fred. Uh, I, I like that the, the, the background is blurred out. A um, couple things I notice is I'm assuming you have grapefruit, oranges, and lemons in there. Yes. Your lemons and grapefruit look like they're the same color. <laughs> you know, not only did I notice that in the picture, I noticed that at the bar. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, so, I'm I'm about that, that I know it on the idea is that I should have had the grapefruit. I should have done something with the grapefruit to make it more real. Yeah. I think that the, uh, I, I think that I like the, composition of the photo on the right better than the left but what i what i think i would have probably pulled my hair out to fix is the haloing around the fruit as it meets the, the background of the photo oh god um, yes yeah but, yeah i don't but, know where and, they can yeah and and i also the uh the greater or the uh whatever that is down in the right hand corner it's kind of just it's kind of distracting but i understand that's got to be there you're at a bar um yeah. <laughs> but, uh, um but i like the way that the uh the glasses and the the bottles and the and the drink is out of focus in the back of the picture i like that yeah i, I just the the haloing from obviously making that background have bokeh um kind of uh kind of yeah that's what that was that, that caused me a problem i see did you do this in Lightroom or in Photoshop? Or on Lightroom. Your phone? Okay. You should try it in Photoshop, and then you could do layers, and then yeah, then I could do a pro blur a pro job. Yeah. Yeah, you could do um, was it Gaussian? Gaussian blur. Yeah. Yeah, Fred. The reason why I like the the one on the right uh, because you bokeh the back is because um, you got the extra clutter behind the drink. So the blur kind of kind of separates that from from what's in focus, and to me the whole thing just feels a little like it's weighted all on the right hand side. You needed something else behind that drink to give it a little more weight. Mm -hmm. But understand, you're at a bar, so you just can't start shuffling bottles around. <laughs> well, yeah, I can't. I can't go to the other guy's table or right. <laughs> But then that's up to me to do the composition. <laughs> no, that's, that's my responsibility to do the composition Composition right. Yep. Cool. Okay, Any thanks. Comments? Yeah. All right. And 
We did those. What's this? We'll go to back to Nikki. Oh, that's beautiful. She's gone. Nikki, what? She ran away. I don't know. She's, she's still online, though. But she's not there. Oh. Look at her chair. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll come back to her. It's ghost Nikki. Yeah. Well, let's do this one. I love this one just from the little thumbnail. Okay, so this is uh, this this is from Rehoboth a couple of weeks ago, um, and it was a it was a gray, cloudy morning, and I had one night there, so I was trying to take pictures of the sunrise. Uh, you can see that was an utter failure. But uh, <laughs> um, but and and honestly, there's there's an ulterior motive for for sharing this with everybody. Um, this was one of those images that I just threw up on my Facebook feed, and like every single one of my friends wants a copy of it printed. So yep. I, I just, I just, I just would like a uh, photographer's uh, critique of what can make the image stronger, um, uh, because it's it's turned into one that honestly several people want me to print for them. So yeah. I don't know. It's got mood and depth. Why change it? Yeah. I, lo I love it because I actually have a picture like this of my own that I did not too long ago. Um, one thing I would suggest is you have a little bit of a horizon, a little bit of, of a white line on the right-hand side, uh -huh. a little mm -hmm. bit of a dark gray line. Right here. Own them out. Mm -hmm. Just get yeah. rid of them. That way you, you just go on for infinity and all you got is those beautiful clouds in the background. Thank right. you. Yeah. Thank Other than you. that, I wouldn't change anything on. I love it. I've struggled to get to get some shadow detail in the uh, in the front. The wood pieces of wood. Yeah. Um, and in doing that, it's I, I've kind of made it a little soft, and mm. so I'm trying to I'm trying to find some some you, sharpness. The eye doesn't go there. Yeah. It goes here. Right. Yeah. But did you? Um, Use Lightroom <laughs> for this, or yeah, I, I I stink in Photoshop, so everything I do well, is in Lightroom. It comes, it'll come in <laughs> time. I'm not that good at Photoshop either, but I can do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just patience. But I was thinking, if you've been playing with the shadows, go back and then just add clarity. Yeah, okay, in the shadows. Okay. Yeah, because it'll bring out all these little lines, like all okay. the like Maybe like paint like paint some clarity in. Yeah, so just take a brush and paint it. Okay. It could be messy and then just put clarity on it. And you could just play with the slide. What about bumping up the contrast a little bit? Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Well, the okay. contra um, not contrast on the, is... Not on the rails. Hmm? Not on the piers. No, yeah, so texture, clarity, and sh all the shadows and highlights and everything, that is contrast. That's all the little pieces to contrast. So if you can just do it in pieces instead of just contrast. Mm -hmm. Then you can control the light yeah. part of it. Exactly. Did you do any dodging and burning on this? Uh, but uh, have you ever heard of Nick filters? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. you could have added a little what's called tonal contrast. Mm -hmm. that'll, that'll really bring out the detail in that wood. Okay. Okay. And yeah. not only that, you can do it subjectively with a brush if you. Wanted to leave the uh, the ones in the center, okay, untouched, and basically work on the one that's in the front and add detail to it. I think that that may have added something to the image, but overall, I think it's a super image. I love it. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. So, someone earlier said that that their eye didn't go to the beams in the front front of the image. Should they be taken out? Did I? No, 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 no. It, it draws <laughs> to the back. And okay. the, the front is a resting place. I'm just I, I, in my peripheral vision. Okay. It, yeah. It, my eye rests on it, but it goes okay. right from the second to the back, at okay. dynamically, but it rests on the first. Yeah. I like okay. that. Thank you very much. I appreciate the critique, everybody. Yeah. The only thing I I might have done, I'd play around with it because I don't know exactly how it would look, but I would take like um, in Lightroom, I would do some dodging and burning, and I would try and do a little bit of uh. A little bit of the waves. See if you can't get a little bit of a, a little bit more darkness in the waves on the right and the left. Just trying okay. to give you a little more separation from the foreground and, and the background. Mm. Okay, like the yeah. Like the foam, I don't like know the how. Foamy part. Look, that was something I would try. Yeah. 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 Then it as like creates as, another. As long as it's moderate. Yeah, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more of a a punch. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely try that. Thank you. Cool. Uh, quick, quick question. Yep. On that, uh, was it a cloudy day or was it a bright sunny day? So it was. It was. It was both. Um, okay. The time I took this photo, it was com the the horizon was completely clouded over. Those are that's dark, almost almost rain clouds, and five minutes after this photo, it was bright blue sunshine sky. I mean, the, the clouds just blew out and it was, I, I can, I could, I should have shared the photo that I took about 15 minutes later as well. Uh, Cause no one on the, on the call would have believed it was the same day. Wow. <laughs> you can you have can a photo in the, the exact um, same um, location, the exact same bridge. To wow. Yeah. You can post it to our mail. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll send it. I'll send it out. You you won't you won't believe it's the same day. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, and we'll do this one since I know you're still on, so that's good. <laughs> okay. This is cool. Is this underwater? No. Oh, uh, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. I f I forgot the name of the flower though. Uh, it's a national Arbor arboretum in DC. Yeah. Right? yeah. I love how everything from left to right is in focus, from yeah. from the left side of the screen to the right. It's all, it's all perfectly in focus, and then it blurs in the background. It's, yeah, it's well done. Yeah. So the eye travels. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I thought it was um, underwater because it was very flowing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. An, an, an underwater river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't say I was good at naming flowers or anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was my first like, first attempt in uh, doing flower photography. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I like it as a real strong image. I might have cropped a little from the left. Uh, I just held my hand up. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. If you take it off right about here. There, yeah. there, yeah. Right. Okay. And, it, and it's a yeah. good four by five. All right. Yeah. Because this, even though this is cool, it's take it off. There's no distraction. Okay. Mm -hmm. And enough purple and enough angle. Okay. Hmm. Anybody else? They look them. like soldiers. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> We're aliens. I, I, I like that. <laughs> human, maybe, the human effect. Maybe really minor, the middle flower, the top middle flower. Bring mm -hmm. the highlights down a little bit on those, that, the tendrils this, at the bottom, yeah. yeah. Okay. They're All a right. little bright, but otherwise, yeah, beautiful. Okay. Cool. All right. You might even crop the bottom just a little bit as well. Just a, just a little yeah. bit. But you keep that purple in there. This piece? No, 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 above it, to the left. Oh, this? Yeah, you keep some enough of that purple in there to give it the oh, con yeah. color contrast. Yeah. That okay. makes it richer. All right. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, let's do this one. We didn't do this one. This one's cool. This one's so oh, cool. Neat. Look at that. <laughs> It's like I stand alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An overachiever flower. Yeah. I love, <laughs> I love how these go like all in the, you know, this like right, writing the great direction. lines. They draw you right into the flower. Yeah. They look like matchsticks. This is a really neat photo. I like this a lot. Thank you. I rotated ninety degrees to the right. Oh hush. <laughs> <laughs> No, I would because I like that upper left bright flower. This one? Yeah, but I think the way it is, it looks like a heart. Oh, you're right. It does. Like the, if you look at the whole, all the purple, it looks like a heart. But then yeah. that little extra guy is like just an extra piece, you know? Let's restore it before we start tearing it apart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If I rotated it all, it'd be 180 degrees and put the that flower up in the uh, at the upper, upper right, upper right. Yeah. yeah. Either way, okay. I love it like it is. I love just a subtle um, 
differences of color, the light pink, so a little bit darker pink. And I love the greens, how those lines are, you know, drawing your eye in towards the flower. Um, it's really nice. It's really and your, like the focus is right where it should be. And then you have the ones that are faded out in the background. So it's really nice. Love it. I, I think, Gretchen, you did a fantastic job on this. Hi, Denise. I'm going to get really nitpicky. The black. Just clone out the black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I was thinking that, that looks. It doesn't add anything to the picture. I'd even fix the, the little black right underneath the one on the bottom, too. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, You've got perfect focus on the ones in front. You've got a little bit of blur on the ones in the back, and then you're completely blurred out on the leaves. I would be going, oh, wow, when I saw this one in competition, too. It's like, okay, I just lost. <laughs> great. That's oh. great color balance, magenta and green. Yeah. This is definitely one that would look good as a postcard or as, as, a, as, a, as a print yes. on a wall. I'd hang that, yeah, in my family room. It's nice. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Hmm. It would even work in black and white, even though it's mm. beautiful the way it is. I didn't even think to try it in black and white. Yeah. No, I love work. the color. It, I love it too, but I think it wow. would definitely work. Anything yeah. else? Yes. Good. All right. Now, what else do we have left? Nikki's. Nikki's. Where's Nick? Which one? Red one? The water droplet. The oh, water down droplet. below the red leaves. Red leaves. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's back. Sorry. She's back. Hello. <laughs> we have a visitor, so I stepped out to say hello. <laughs> um, so recently I was just taking a class, um, creative close-up photography, and one of the weeks here during a quarantine time at home, so um, focus was for water droplets in nature, found or made, <laughs> and then bokeh. So I only have a tiny bit of uh, bokeh in there, but love the water droplets and love the curve of the leaf. I was doing handheld. I was Yay! doing tripod. <laughs> Maybe I would have had that curve more in focus, which is, I wish I'd had that more in focus, but my yep. focus was on the water droplets. <laughs> I just love the red. Yes, the red's beautiful. That was in my backyard. <laughs> Yay! I, I would not have done anything on the focus. The simple fact that you've got the, the water droplets in front and through the middle of it are all in focus, and then you can actually see the texture in the leaf, and then yeah. follow the, the right ridge of that leaf all the way back to the middle of the picture where now it's in focus again, mm -hmm. and then it just kind of leads your eye back into the back right-hand corner of the picture. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. I would not change a thing on this. I would get rid of those white spots. <laughs> <laughs> They're like distract. Either crop down a little bit or like get, you know. What yeah. I tell you, Nikki. <laughs> I should probably get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could crop down in and mm -hmm. a little bit and just. As long as you left that point there where the bright area is below that center water drop you've got to leave that point there yes yeah you'd want that yeah that whole leaf you want to keep and i learned in this class um liquefy bloat to make water drop oh, yeah. bigger <laughs> i actually made those bigger than they really were <laughs> nice <Bigger>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cheater. just a tad <laughs> i love how there's almost a shadowing behind that leaf yeah yeah, another, it's another, another leaf, I guess. There was, but three it looks... there was three leaves there, and yet it was macro, so they just totally um, blurred out. Yeah, I love that. Thanks. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Just gorgeous. Hmm. I, I think that it's, I think it's a, almost a perfect image. The, uh, uh, the technique that was explained earlier about uh, uh, kind, of, kind of burning your blocks out might, might, be put to good use here too to kind of set the leaf uh, yeah. set the leaf off in the background just a little bit. Yeah. But but it's it's a it's a very strong and the focus on the on the the leaf there is just incredible. The detail that's there that's uh, uh, again something that would look good on the wall or on a postcard. Yes. Thanks. 
Thank you. I'm seeing if Audrey's going to log in. Hold on. I'm on my. Did I miss anybody that's here? Did I miss anything? Bob never showed up. Nope, not that I could see. I mean, you want you want to go ahead and look at it, and because I am recording this, I mean it's very loose. <laughs> we can talk about sure. that. Is that yeah. cool? Okay. So this is uh, one of. This is Bob's. Yeah, this is Bob Hayward. I love it. Who doesn't love a, you know, little baby? Yeah. <laughs> Sunlight is nice on it. We got the baby looking right at us. Yep. Yeah, that's a good looking image. I like the soft glow, the early morning light. Um, one of the things I probably would have done is clone out the leaf behind the baby's ear. Yep, I was just going to say oh, that. Yeah. A little big in that. Right. And below to the left. And this one, yeah. And that'd be easy to do. Yeah. I, I, I would be concerned about the um, um, the light on the mother behind her ear. The, the yellow might be a little blown out. This here? Right yeah. there, yeah. Just pull that back and just that, a tiny bit. And this and the baby, too, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is this is a great pick. I love the little look on that cub's face. Mm -hmm. And look, they're holding hands. Yeah. yeah. No, I love that. <laughs> I think I would have sat there a little bit longer and just waited until the mother looked straight. So if they were both looking like right into the camera, I think for me that would have been a stronger image to see the mother's eyes also. Mm -hmm. And then maybe it would have picked up the glow from the sun. Maybe. Well, if you got the shot, it should be there too. But yeah, you got to get this one. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm sad that the baby's butt is cut off. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sorry. It seems like an odd crop. <laughs> well, no, not really. If you look at it, they're both cut because, cut you know, too. you're doing a three, two by three, I think. Yeah, well, the mama's bigger and it's like halfway around her legs, but yeah. maybe it's just the butt. I mean, technically, he could crop the whole thing right right across the mama's chest and then cut. Yeah, the, and know, just take the the, the more of a headshot of the of the two cats as opposed to you know their body shots. Yeah, something to call it along that line. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Be a little less. Yeah, that's you have a, little a little portrait. Bit. No, this is a nature shot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. We can go to the next one. Great shot, though. Yeah. This is also Bob's. I like the purples in this one. It's pretty. Um, oh, I, I, yeah, I saw this. Look at these. The curve and the crease. That's the first thing I know. The highlights. Nice layer. Yeah. Get, get, get rid of the blue corner up in the upper right. Yeah. Get rid of this guy. It's not enough. It's yeah. either you get it all the way from the one third to the left down, oh, or you yeah. get rid of it. Hmm. So I'm a I'm a skier uh, in the wintertime, and I would like to see more of the mountain. <laughs> oh yeah, Get more yeah, of yeah, and that would be better. Yeah. If the if the camera got it. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, I love the I love the colors and the the uh, uh, kind of the, the flowiness of the river. That it's I, I, the different color greens and reds and yellows is is. Pretty amazing. Every time of year. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I just I love the contrast a, from the purple and the greens and, and the yellows. My only concern is why is the water yellow? <laughs> yeah. That just I, I mean I understand it's probably just a very muddy creek, but it just you, you see a river and you automatically expect to see it some kind of blue. Not yeah. Yellow. Yeah. I, I little, didn't even know it was water at first. I thought it was just a path. Yeah, he, yeah. I, that's why I was like, oh, was it a mods? And like, oh, the river. Like, oh, that's water. <laughs> it took me a minute because when I first looked yeah. at it, yeah. We'll have to ask Bob the next I think that makes it intriguing. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, that's definitely, I think it's fascinating. Yeah. yeah. It's like a river of gold. I'm wondering if this must be a plant right here. It looks kind of like, I, I have bad eyesight, so I'd yeah. have to like zoom it in. But at first I thought it was an animal. 
No, if you cropped up so that the corner of the uh, lower right corner of the river hit the, uh, yeah. See, now that's nice. You don't have that plant. Yeah. And now this looks like a little animal. <laughs> it looks like an animal. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's maybe. Like a mouse. <laughs> but I mean, if, if, it, if you cropped it down like that and then you had more sky, condensed yeah. down so you had the two thirds sky. Yeah. And then it would be the ideal yeah. image. Yeah, and bring all these out. Yeah, pretty. All right, anything else on that one? Let's see. Let's go to um, one of Dan's. This is um, called Cape May. Oh, it's tiny. And I can't make it any bigger, so oh, it must no. be the solution. Uh, so you guys are just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool picture, though, all silhouetted. Yeah, it's a nice beach scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And that yellow is very interesting. About all we could tell is the beach scene. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah, I would change think. your view option. I mean, I have mine at like two hundred percent just to see it a little bit better. But open with document viewer. Uh, yeah, if you guys can just make it bigger, because I don't want to mess up the settings because I'm recording it so good any other comments for this one I like the golden look to it it's cool yeah it's a nice gold not hitting on the waters the the yellow in the sky I think is maybe a little saturated because I'm pretty sure that probably wasn't natural but it definitely makes a cool effect <laughs> though on the photo natural or not yeah is there a dust spot in the sky? I'm wondering if that's part of the clouds. <laughs> no, I think, because there's a cloud here. I think this is clouds. So I'm not sure if it's a dust spot or if it's shadows and a bird or something, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, you could clone it out. I see, I yeah. see a dust spot too because of the size. Yeah. Yeah, it looks round. Yeah, right there. Yep. Cool. Do you think this should be like more silhouetted? instead of almost silhouetted. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That yeah. could make sense, yeah. I do like this, this though, because you, know, you can see all of the texture in yeah. the hand. I just think it would be really neat to just have a little, little bit more of a, a stronger silhouette image. That'd be really neat with all the umbrellas and the people. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. OK. Anything else on that one? Dan's on now. Oh, Hi, is he? Dan. Hey, Dan, are you? Can you see us? I don't know. Um, he's here. He's oh, good. Mute. He's on mute at the moment. Okay. Well, look, this is the next one. This one's really cool. I like this one much better than the other one. Yeah, it tells a cool story. Crater shot, got the boat in there, nice addition. Yeah. And this looks like gold. gold. Nice uh, colors, blue and gold. Yeah. I think I would desaturate these, even though it's green and blue, just to make them black. Oh, would you do the same thing for the chair, too? Yeah, probably. So you just want it all in a silhouette, then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the silhouette makes a great foreground. Yeah. Well, then it's and you got this a back, is you got, you got a middle from, action. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is really the story, and they're watching it. You know. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's got good balance. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I was just gonna say that, Fred. I love how he's got the, the the weight of the umbrellas on the right, and then that's countered by the the weight of the boat on the left. Static on the right, dynamic on the left. Yep. Yeah, this one I do like it not so silhouetted. And I don't know, maybe I think if the if it was a complete black silhouette, it might not work because the umbrellas are touching. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think it might be a little bit too heavy on the right if it was like that. But I love the lighting in this. Yeah. I kind of wish it was shifted a little bit to the right get to the get whole, that whole umbrella and to have one. a little less space on the left. 
Yeah. See, I, I disagree with Sam on the silhouette. I actually like the colors of the umbrella because I like the, the, the rest of the picture is basically all monotone of gold. So those yeah. are the touch like of the blue and green in the back of the chair kind of gives you a little bit of pop into the, to the scene. Yeah. I love the little girl just kind of off on her own. Oh, on the left. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm out. Right in home with the boat. <laughs> Doing what I want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but totally I don't see sweet. no boat. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Dan, do you want to tell us about the photo at all? Where was it taken? Is he still on mute? Yeah, Dan, yeah. She was asking where the photo was taken. Yeah, he's still on mute. Let me unmute him. Uh, nothing's in chat, though. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, he said Kate oh, May. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Kate May. Yeah. Kate May. <laughs> oh, there it is. Nice. <laughs> cool. All right. Roadrunner. <laughs> ah, okay. I like Kate May. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do um this one. This is Audrey's. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. It is a beautiful shot. It really is. It's nice. Mm -hmm. The only thing I would say is her horizon's a little off. Other than that, I wouldn't do anything to it. Maybe, yeah. maybe add a, if there's more in the picture, a little bit more to the top. Yeah, it's a little yeah. tight on top. And just a yeah, little bit. Got enough judges. Top, so you gotta watch the edges. So you know. Nice, it's very nice. She's got the boat, you know, facing into the picture, so it's a very nice scene. Golden color is nice. Mm -hmm. I wonder how this would look with the boat silhouetted. <laughs> Everybody wants the silhouette. <laughs> it would just fall into the background. The reason why I say silhouette is because there's no color to the boat. Yeah. There's there's really nothing on the boat that's really worth looking at other than it's just sitting on a gorgeous sunset. Well, I like, see, the hole differentiates from the top side. So you still want yeah. to be able to keep that. Yeah. I think the trees in the background would blend too much with the boat if you silhouetted it. The choice uh, probably okay. would be to either make the boat completely exposed properly or have it silhouetted, but kind of in the middle is is kind of what people are commenting on, right? Yeah. So yeah. so either either expose it so that it's in full detail or silhouette it so that it's not. Uh, would be my suggestion. But I love the image, by the way. This I'm a I'm I'm a I have a soft spot for pictures of boats. So this yeah. is <laughs> this is I love this photo. Sailboats, especially. Oof. Yeah. We got lightning. Outside? I do, yeah. No. Oh. Don't think I do. I need no. to go out and play. I think we got through them all. That was everybody. Yay. Thank you. That was great. We should do something like this for nature vision pictures. Yeah, let's plan to do that. So I think we have to get those submitted by like the second week of august so we really, oh God, really, have, really? yeah we only have like <laughs> oh, well much. i'm sorry i take that back it begins the second week of august and then i think the first week of september it cuts off so that, we have like, okay. like what they're doing yeah yeah oh. you talked about digital images and it would be wonderful to know kind of how to best present things digitally because yeah well you've got a reason now for our august meeting that you're not you weren't planning on True, but I'm really, yeah, that's true. Um, so actually, I t Christina, I kind of take it back because think about it. We've always submitted in digital. Yes, for the judges. And they have always for chosen. The judges, yeah. yeah, they've always chosen the winners from the digital. The The print was just for us. So it's not like it really mm -hmm. mattered. Okay. So, so I'm thinking we, we're probably fine. I'm not, I don't even think we should belabor it. But I did learn, you know, when I was doing my... um putting the NeoWise pictures out, I actually did export them as um, like less than 1200 because of Facebook and they mm -hmm. look so much better. So I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, I'm just too 
like impatient and lazy to do two sets of things. So I always just export it as the biggest one, but, <laughs> but, um, so that's also just something to think about when you're doing something on Facebook to make them a little bit smaller so that Facebook doesn't mess with the pixels. But other than that, yeah, we should definitely plan something. We'll look at the dates and I'll talk to Jeff and, um,